Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing jailbreaking, more specifically iOS 8.4, today's new beta release being the third beta iteration of the firmware. Now for those of you interested in possibly winning a brand new Apple Watch, simply navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. Once you have, come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment in the comment section containing your referral code, which is the piece that appears in the link itself after the equals symbol in the fourth tab. Now let's go ahead and switch on over here and get started. So today, as the vast majority of iOS 8 owners await the creation of a new utility to liberate their devices and jailbreak iOS 8.3, the current latest public firmware, Apple seeded the third beta iteration of 8.4, being 8.4 Beta 3, to registered developers. Now, the new developer exclusive release was issued two weeks following its predecessor's appearance, with today's version also being available to select predetermined public beta testers. And iOS 8.4 Beta 3 carries a minor build number revision over its predecessor of 12H4098C versus. 12H4086D, suggesting very slight revisions when compared to the second beta. And aside from the limited public beta program, today's 8.4 Beta 3 firmware can be downloaded through Apple's dedicated iOS 8 developer portal or via iOS's built-in over-the-air or OTA for short update feature for devices running either of the two previous 8.4 build versions. As for jailbreaking though, in light of Taiji's blatant patch with Apple Apple's January release of iOS 8.1.3, the public has remained vastly unjailbroken for a number of months. And being unable to jailbreak iOS 8.3 untethered, some new to the jailbreak scene have begun to worry that a tool won't be released. But that's simply not the case. iOS 8.4 may very well be jailbreaker's salvation. And briefly touching on the topic of iOS 8.4 Beta 3 first, before delving into jailbreaking, like the firmware's predecessor, 8.4 offers few improvements over the current public iOS 8 build, being 8.3. That being said, iOS 8.4 merely revamps the default iOS 8 music app and addresses bugs that previously plagued said app in earlier iterations of iOS 8. Furthermore, unless jailbreakers adamantly use iOS's built-in music app, the jump from iOS 8.3 would seem redundant. A firmware which offered an improved emoji selection method, additional emoji options, wireless CarPlay connectivity, and addressed a slew of bugs. With that fact covered, it would make sense that those keen on seeing a new jailbreak utility released to the masses would be in favor of Taiji and or Pangu finishing up what they have in the works and releasing a jailbreak for 8.3 instead of once again waiting for iOS 8.4. Now in the most recent episode of Best and phone rumors, I discuss the difficult decision that lies before Taiji and Pangu, whether to hastily jailbreak iOS 8.3 or instead methodically wait for iOS 8.4 in order to ensure the longevity of the next jailbreak. And what it ultimately comes down to is this. Both groups are hoping for a similar scenario as last year's iOS 7.1.x Pangu jailbreak, which was released in June and went fully unpatched for months until iOS 8's eventual release in September. Now, either way, the release of the next jailbreak will be a gamble, and as each day passes, it becomes evident which side the jailbreakers are leaning towards, iOS 8.4, which will hopefully be the last iOS 8 release prior to iOS 9, of course, excluding any potential 8.4.x versions. Now, whichever route either team ultimately opts to travel, today's iOS 8.4 Beta 3 firmware no doubt brings us closer to 8.4's inevitable public release, and in turn, that of the next jailbreaks. So as things start to progress, and as we see more developments occur on the jailbreak scene, I will keep you guys completely covered. So if you have yet to subscribe, be sure to click that button down below next to my channel name and stay tuned. Remember, this is not the longest we've had to wait for a jailbreak utility in the past, and last year's Pangu 7.1.x jailbreak was wasn't released until June, and it appears as though the next jailbreak may be heavily contingent upon iOS 8.4. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one covering topics related to jailbreaking, as well as the Apple Watch, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.